Hi everyone, welcome. It's Lonnie at Grace Blossoms for you. And today I want to share with you a project I've been working on. Um, it's part of a group on Facebook called For the Love of Paper by Karen Gibson. And this month we are making artist trading cards. And so how it works is every day we are given a prompt and then we can make a card and post it to the group. And so I have missed a couple and I am a few behind, but my favorite one I've already given away and it had a little parrot on it. I'll see if I can find a picture and post it in the community tab later. But uh, so I am a little behind and I thought we could maybe make a couple together. Now the technical size for an artist trading card is two and a half by three and a half inches. But I just noticed that I had this one and it's a little bigger. But I don't think there's any police to, um, you know, I don't think I'm gonna be in trouble. But if you, I'm just gonna go through anything interesting here. I think I already pointed out, yeah, I pointed out the thread ones in a previous video. So there's a couple with thread. Um, this one, I think I used um, jelly paper, a print, and then as a background. And then here I used some fabric. This one I painted with the end of a brush I think I used acrylics for that one. I'm not even sure. This one, I actually used a scrap of paper for the background to remind me of the Northern Lights that we saw here not too long ago. And then I did a silhouette of trees. This one is a, uh, a cutout uh, backed by lace. Nothing very fancy for that one. Um, some of these I can't even remember what the prompts were, but the tag may give us, like the word strip may give us a hint as to what the prompt was. But the prompts are available in the group should you wish to join it. And again, it is For the Love of Paper by Karen Gibson. And um, so yeah, that was what I've been working on and I thought maybe we could make a couple together since I am some behind. So let me get these out of the way. I like how these are adding up and then we can trade them or give them however we want to do that. All right, so one of the prompts that I missed was art, and one of the other prompts I missed was body. And I didn't really know what to do for them. So this one was one that I had started earlier. I sewn on the uh, left side here, and this is a napkin of a hummingbird, and I thought that one could be used for art because it's got the different mediums already. And then just have to finish that one off. And then another prompt that I missed was um, body. So I have a couple bases left here. And then I saw this guy, and he has a body but it's a little big. So I'm not sure <laughs> what to do with this guy. Um, I think I might break the rules and have him hanging over the side majorly here. Unless I wanna do him over here. Gives them a little bit of interest, but I think that might be too busy for him. So maybe we'll go with this one and I'm gonna ink him up really good. So 
So yeah, lots of fun, this group. And um, last month I didn't really participate because they were doing a Halloween theme, but this month is uh, all different prompts, so. And you're free to interpret the prompts the way you will, the way you would like. So it's a great group, as far as I can tell. I've only been in there for a few months, but there are giveaways, and it seems to be a very encouraging group. There's my plug for for the love of paper. It's kind of hard to find on Facebook, so at least it was for me. I, it took me a bit to find it because there's quite a few. But love is all caps if you are doing a search for it. All right, so there is my body. And I think I want to say something about bodies coming in all shapes and sizes. Just gonna round the corners. Just have to see if I had turned my camera on. Alright, so okay, this one's a little bent out of shape. I'm gonna also do this card. gonna hang him oh hanging have him hanging over to that side by how much see I use file folder um something like that or do I just want half of his body that wouldn't work either because his head's still too tall now, I think we'll just go with the two thirds and then the one third maybe a little less hanging off there. I just want a little bit of room to put something for a background. Maybe I'll do some stamping. I seem to really enjoy the back background script. Something like that. If I added anything else, it would have to be very small because he takes up most of the card. I really like the section here so I was trying to save it but that's okay. He'll be fine. I forgot his buttons. I have to add those later. Alright so then I think Okay, I'm just gonna attach him so he's done and then I can work around him. breaking all the rules. 
we're busting out of the card here. Okay. So then I'm just going to write right on the card. There we go. Now, as for his, I don't know, belly button? Does he need a belly button? Found one. Jelly roll. Okay, there we go. Actually, the jelly roll looks like it's whiter than the acrylic pen I used earlier. The smile is tricky. Okay. I don't really know what else to add. I think I need something in the corner. There, make it look like he's actually holding on to the heart. Okay. See, it doesn't have to be that complicated. Okay, so that's for body. And this one is going to be for art. And I'm going to pull out my watercolors because I need some extra medium here because when I think of art I think of all the different ways I just kind of feel like making lines something like that and then I'm going to finish it off with a simple word phrase. Too big. I thought it would be small enough. What I'm going to do, let's cut that off. No, I want it in that corner. I think I need it a little smaller though. I was thinking of fabric I had, but this will do. Maybe it's too big, but we'll see. Still, this is too big. Okay, that'll do. This label was uh, on my Kofi page. If you haven't visited my Kofi page, please do so and grab some printables. Most of them are free. I think I'm going to leave it like that. Nice and simple. Not too much going on there. But yeah, we used glue, we used paint, we used thread, we used napkins. 
so I like the the shine of the lines on there that's kind of cool all right so that short and sweet but that's what I got for you today so hopefully you have tried making artist trading cards honestly I had not made any until I tried this so it's been a blast and I think I'm gonna make more so try it you might like it God bless you, and we'll see you again next time. Bye for now.